Hello, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to share a dream with you guys that I titled Preparing for an Upcoming Event. So, if you're not familiar with my channel, I discuss mystical dreams, visions, experiences. I read Neville Goddard's, le Neville Goddard's lectures here on my channel, and um, sometimes I talk about mindset and manifesting and awareness this month and for the next few months though I am going to be diving into scripture and breaking down some of the verses and um, a few of the books of the Bible just as the insight comes to me again I'm not gonna uh, force anything but I'm gonna go through some of the books that I have read in the Bible and then kind of walk through breaking down some of those verses based on my understanding of scripture and uh, kind of go from there. All right. So, oh, there is a link in the description box below. There are actually several links. If you want to check out my blog, my Facebook page, Instagram, Facebook group, uh, check out the Neville Goddard courses I have available or the dream journals that I now have available in digital format. So all of those links are below. All right, so in this dream, again, I titled it, Preparing for an Upcoming Event. Um, I had a dream on the night of Defe December 1st, 2020. I was in a large ballroom and it had a conference room connected to it. And there was a woman in charge. She was in charge of myself and a lot of kids, uh, they were, different ages, older and younger, and everyone was working on crafts and things for an upcoming event. I don't know what the event was, but everybody was working on, on things for it. And I, you know, I was helping everybody, helping the kids, having fun and working harder than anyone else. That was something that stood out to me in the dream was I was working harder than anybody else, you know, just trying to help everyone. And at one point, uh, it was about 10 minutes before we were all to leave the venue for whatever reason. I guess uh, we had, so we had finished, we were finishing everything up. So about 10 minutes before we were going to leave the venue, I had finished everything I was doing and I went to stand in line by the door. And uh, sort of like when you're in school and the teacher tells all the kids to line up at the door to like go to lunch or research, recess or whatever. That's kind of what it felt like. So uh, I stood by the door and then the woman who was in charge of all of us, she got everyone's attention and she said she had unfortunate news and that she had to let someone go. And she looked directly at me and right there on the spot she fired me, told me to leave. And I was shocked. She said that I was just standing around and not doing anything, which wasn't true. Like I said, I was like helping everybody and in my mind working harder than everybody else. Then in the next dream, I was in the adjoining conference room and I faked fainting. I'm assuming because I didn't want to be fired and, uh, yeah, and I didn't want to leave. I don't know, but I faked fainting. So everyone, like all the kids and stuff, gathered, gathered around me. They were concerned. They were asking if I was all right. And then the woman in charge asked if I was okay. And I told her I was sick. But she blew me off as if I weren't really sick. Um, which, of course, I wasn't because I had just faked fainting. So I wasn't actually sick. Uh, then my youngest daughter, who apparently was helping everybody with crafts and stuff too. She must have been there with us. So she helped me up and she said to me, Mom, we should go to the car. But at the same time, she actually wanted to stay at the event. Even though everybody was about to leave. So I don't know exactly what was going on there. But she wanted to stay, I guess, until everybody left at the same time. So... I, you know, I just sat there um, and wait, waited for her in the venue uh, instead of going to the car. So finally, a, the lady 
in charge, who was in the first two dreams, so this was the third dream, she looked at the thermostat in the room, I think in the conference room rather than the, the ballroom, and she asked, who turned the heat up? And she looked directly at me and she said, you changed it with your handwriting. It was the oddest statement, but it was so like vivid and clear and it stood out to me in the dream. So as I reflected on the dream, both the following morning and then as I sat down to uh, transcribe the notes from my journal into my blog post, um, although the theme of the, of the dream seemed to be preparing for some sort of an event, I really have no clue what uh, what the dreams actually meant, what the symbolism was. The only thing that really stood out to me was the phrase, you changed it with your handwriting. And as I reflected on that thought, or that phrase, the thought that came to my mind was power. And um, I mean, the three dreams were obviously connected but since I didn't receive any like real revelation about the symbolism, I'm honestly not going to speculate. But the word power was something that uh, that came to mind. So I don't recall if there was anything going on externally like the day before or the day that I had the dream or even the day after um, that would correlate with the dream. So again, I'm not gonna speculate, but uh, the term power was pretty uh, significant whatever what whatever that meant in relation to the the, uh, the the dreams themselves so anyway that is the end of this video uh, don't forget to like subscribe check out the links in the description box below leave a comment share some of your experiences that would be interesting all right so thank you so much I will see you guys in the next video I hope everyone has a fabulous day bye